Welcome to UWA. As you may know, there are several different types of units in your undergraduate degree, including broadening units. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to explain what broadening units are, how you choose units that suit you, and suggest when you should study them. As always, for more in-depth information about broadening requirements or any other course information, please consult the UWA Handbook. Let's find out what broadening units are. Employers want to hire specialists in their field, but they also look for graduates with a broader skill set that prepares them for a rapidly changing world. As a UWA student, you'll gain these vital skills through your broadening units. There are two types of broadening units, those that belong to category A and those in category B. Category A units have a global spin and will prepare you for a culturally diverse environment. Category B units are chosen from outside your degree. These will expand your knowledge to include other fields. You must pass at least four broadening units during your degree and at least one of them must be a Category A unit. But you can do two or three or more if you like. If you wish, you can include up to two Category A units that are offered from within your degree. All remaining units then must be selected from units outside your degree. You can choose the units that suit you from a wide range at UWA. They are all listed in the handbook. Just choose the degree course you're studying to see the broadening units available to you. Each degree is listed in the tabs across the top. For instance, if you're enrolling in a Bachelor of Arts, browse through the list of Category A and Category B broadening units and check the unit rules to see whether you can enrol. The furthest column on the right indicates what degree the unit comes from, so you can ensure that you don't include more than two Category A units from within your degree. When you've decided which broadening units you're interested in, add them to your first year study plan or whole course study plan. Here's a tip about timing. Try to take a couple of broadening units in your first year to see how it goes. Then do the rest by the end of your second year because your study plan might be less flexible in your third year, especially if you want to do a second major. We want to make sure you get the most out of your UWA degree so you're set up for a fulfilling and successful global career. Remember, Units taken on student exchange or study abroad count as Category A and second year is a preferable time to study overseas. If you aren't sure you've done it right, ask your faculty advisor to double check it or visit any of the following resources for further advice. 